So get this, if we, the people, lie to our governments about our income, our assets and loads of other things, we can be punished. There are laws against it. If businesses or advertisers lie to us, the public, they can be punished because there are laws against that too. But listen to this, if the people who make all of these laws, our politicians, if they lie to everyone about anything, they don't get punished at all. Because they haven't made laws against themselves lying to us. Does that seem right to you? No, 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 no! When our politicians want to control what we think of them, they lie to us. I did not have sexual relations with that woman. They lie to us about what they do with our money. This country is giving, at the moment, 20 billion pounds every year to the EU. 350 million pounds a week. They lie to us about the results of democratic elections. If you count the legal votes, I easily win. If you count the illegal votes, they can try to steal the election from us. They lie to us during democratic elections. I remember landing under sniper fire. There was supposed to be some kind of a greeting ceremony at the airport, but instead we just ran with our heads down to get into the vehicles. Their lies start wars that kill innocent people, hundreds of thousands of them. There is no doubt that Iraq poses a threat in respect of weapons of mass destruction. And they've been doing that for a really long time. This is not an invasion. Lying in politics is an anti-democratic weapon that politicians use to control us without our consent. It's a complete abuse of the power we've given to them. So what can we do about it? How can we make lying in politics illegal? In 2016, I went looking for an answer. I moved to London, crowdfunded 700,000 pounds from 15,000 people who wanted to help me, recruited a top team of lawyers and spent three years learning how to use old law in a new way. Then my team and I did something that nobody else has done for about two and a half thousand years. We prosecuted the most famous and powerful politician in our country for lying to the public. <laughs> if we won, we would set a precedent that lying in politics is a criminal offense with a maximum sentence of life imprisonment. Finally giving politicians a real reason to stop lying to us. A few months after we first went to court, this happened. Boris Johnson has been told by a judge that he will face a court case over accusations of misconduct in public office. Misconduct in public office. Misconduct in public office. The maximum sentence for that is life in prison. <laughs> Imagine how exciting it would be if our Prime Minister has to run the country from prison. <laughs> the whole world covered the case. The man taking Boris Johnson to court is businessman Marcus Ball. He wants Boris Johnson to face the consequences of his actions. Now, the charges relate to allegations brought by Mr Ball. They state that while MP and Mayor Boris Johnson deliberately misled the public... ...argued uh, before a judge there that this was such a serious offence of lying by a very senior politician over such a major issue that it represented misconduct in public office. It is about holding our politicians to account in public office and their responsibility when it comes to the messages and the information that they disseminate to the public. Mr Johnson, do you accept that you just deliberately misled the public? Do you have anything to say, Mr Johnson? Our idea was working. We were winning. It felt like we had millions of people rooting for us. It should be an interesting trial. I mean, very similar to putting the Pope on trial and saying, are you a Catholic? Um, <laughs> he was sacked from the Times for lying when he was a young journalist, then sacked from the Telegraph, making stuff up in the European, sacked by his own party for lying about an affair, reprimanded for a piece in the Telegraph earlier this year for lying about a poll. Ian, yes. we're not allowed to say anything that might prejudice the case. Well, that's absolutely fair enough, because I would like him to have a fair trial with a desirable result of him being in prison forever. <laughs> George Orwell described politics as a mass of lies, evasion, folly. 
But seeing a politician held criminally responsible for misleading campaign slogans would indeed be a startling precedent. But then something strange happened. Immediately after we won the right to a jury trial, our case was suddenly shut down in highly suspicious circumstances before it could even get in front of a jury. Now, after two years of investigation, I've uncovered that two people secretly sabotaged our case behind the scenes. I'm going to tell everyone who they are, what they did, and how they did it, so that we can finally get the justice we deserve. I am Private Prosecutor Marcus J. Ball, and this is Ball v. Johnson, the story of lying in politics and the fight to make it illegal.